Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Sonic Frontiers video. Well, the game is upon us and oh boy, did I have an amazing time. But what if I told you I had some really cool tips and tricks? Some things I wish I knew earlier before I finished the game. Well, today I'm going to be saving you some time. So today I'm going to be bringing you some amazing things I wish I knew earlier before I started playing Sonic Frontiers. So once again, thanks for watching everybody and without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Let's just jump right into it. Coming in at the number one spot, things I wish I knew earlier is run circles around everything. Like legit, there are so many things that you can do with this just one move. Whether it be taking out bosses or solving puzzle or just getting random items on the ground, using that move is absolutely spectacular. And if you ever are in doubt or you stuck, try running a circle around something. I guarantee you it's going to help out. Now, the second thing that I want you to know and that you should really take from this video is that there is more than one way to scale a giant and take out a boss. You would think it's just one way. You think that is just on road, but it's not. You have full control of Sonic. Here it is once again. I'm gonna take it from the leg all the way to the arm. Now you can run straight up his body or, you know, you can do whatever you want. Now, a lot of people may not know this and that's why I wanna put this video out there because yes, you can scale these bosses any way you want. There is more than one way to scale a boss in Sonic Frontiers. So while you're out there and yeah, the camera can be a little wonky, just know that you're in full control of Sonic. Now, here's another cool tip and that you really should pay attention to, and that is the cyberspaces. Now, all of these cyberspaces will have challenges and these challenges are incredible. Some of them are fun, some of them can be a little bit tedious, but here's what I want you to take from this. Try to do as many as possible in one location because you really are going to need these keys and the vault keys are going to stack up and it's an accumulated total before you can get the next Chaos Emerald. So before you go running around and traversing the map, why don't you stay in one spot and try to do as many as possible, three or maybe even four, so you can get the right amount of vault keys so you can get your rewards and continue the story. Now, Here's another thing that I want you to know. It's basically kill everything. I know, I know it sounds redundant, kill everything, but like legit, every single enemy in the game is going to drop something. It hasn't been one enemy I killed and it didn't drop anything, right? So all of these different materials are going to come in play. Here's a whole bunch of clips of me just randomly stopping and killing enemies and each time it's gonna be different maps. Now, of course, these are all going to come into play when you upgrade Sonic, so, if you really want to save yourself some time, regardless of what you are doing, kill everything. And last but not least, the best thing that you can do is to upgrade Sonic Speed. Now, here's this little guy right here that you can upgrade your speed, and it's not just one, it's going to be through every map, a whole bunch of them, right? You can upgrade your speed. Now, here's the thing, you can upgrade your speed all the way to level 99. And the best part about it is the more you level up your speed, the faster you can travel, the faster you can get from point A to point B, and you know, it all comes into play. So leveling up your speed is super important and you can traverse the other areas a little bit easier because you're faster. So there you have it. Some amazing things that I just wanted to put out there and help you out a little bit in your Sonic adventures. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome, don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Gamer, upload a wide variety of videos, ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.